Okay, so what's up guys, welcome back. OnePlus 7 series users have been waiting since a long time for Android 12 update. So you guys now don't have to wait for long because OnePlus have already started rolling out first OTA update of Oxygen OS 12 and Color OS 12 to closed beta testers. So if you are a part of closed beta testing program, you guys must have already received the first OTA update of Color OS 12 or Oxygen OS 12. But in this video, we'll be going through Color OS 12.1 for OnePlus 7 series. So without wasting any more time, let's get started. So here I have my OnePlus 7 Pro on which I've already installed the first closed beta. OnePlus 7 series users will be getting ColorOS 12.1 and Oxygen OS 12.1 which would be the first update instead of ColorOS or Oxygen OS 12. So here you can see this is my OnePlus 7 Pro where it says version 12.1. So OnePlus 7 series users will debut with 12.1 instead of 12. Talking about the version, so here version is H.10 and this closed beta update comes with 5th April 2022 security patch. And before moving ahead, let's keep a like target of 500 likes on this video. And also guys, we still have 82% of users who do watch our videos but haven't subscribed to our channel. So if you find our videos helpful to you, do consider subscribing and also press the bell icon to get notified whenever we upload a new video. And guys, since the time I have installed this ColorOS 12 on my OnePlus 7 Pro, I did notice bit of G or you can say lags while scrolling on the device. I'm not sure this is because I haven't performed a factory reset or it's because this is the first closed beta build and requires more optimization. But I'll keep you guys posted in the pinned comment. By evening I'll perform a factory reset and if I find any kind of improvements then I'll let you know guys. When you compare with Oxygen OS 12 and Color OS 12 there are not much of UI differences because we are already using Color OS code base for Oxygen OS also. Slight changes will be there for example you will see a noticeable change in the quick setting panel you also get this blurry effect when you scroll down the quick setting panel or you can see a notification panel rest most of the things remain same launcher we have color os launcher here and you'll also notice a completely redesigned wallpaper section where you have the section for live wallpaper static and if you want to download more wallpapers you can download from the oneplus theme store and the good part on color os is now we can change the device theme according to the wallpaper color so in the personalization section we have a tab called colors and here you can see it says wallpaper color picking so we have a green wallpaper set and depending on that the entire ui have adopted to green color now let me change the wallpaper and show you guys so as you can see we have changed the wallpaper and device have adapted to the wallpaper color for example you can see in the quick setting panel if you also take a look at the settings page here also device have adapted to the same color and this feature we don't find it on oxygen os 12. also if you install color os you'll see lot many chinese blotwares or you can say chinese applications pre-installed few of them can be easily uninstalled but few of them cannot be uninstalled or disabled so you can watch the video which is being displayed on the screen using this video guide you can remove all the system apps also from color os and completely deload that os we do have this slide bar on color os 12 where you can access recently used application and there are few useful tools for example one of my favorite is this screen translate and this translation stuff have been updated now it also supports full screen translation so if you have any other language on the screen which you are not able to understand you can switch accordingly between the languages and just tap on full translate. This will scan the entire screen and translate everything as per your desired language set. So as you can see, out of China we had selected and now everything have been converted into Chinese language. Quite a useful feature. We have way better haptic feedback on ColorOS 12.1. Also the camera app have been completely redesigned now and one cool thing which I found on this camera app, whenever we switch to front camera, you'll see the edge lightning towards the top side of the screen. So let me switch to front camera and show you guys. I'm not sure if you guys are able to see that, but that really looks cool. I've taken a screenshot or you can say I've recorded a video of that. Let me show you. So here's that screen recording. But if you see on the top side, here there's a gap towards the left hand side and also on the right hand side i'm not sure why this gap is present but it's okay i like this effect whenever we switch to front camera for me charging speed seems to be fine i did not find any kind of slow charging issues till now though i did not charge completely but as said charging speed was fine we also get this updated version of gallery which have this card case section and this will automatically organize your photos of ids bank cards tickets and receipts and all your photos related to cards 
banking and other stuff will be found in this card case. If you anytime wish to disable it, that can also be done by just going to settings and here we have an option of card case. Just disable it from here and you're good to go. And guys, make sure to check out the description to know what all bugs are present on ColorOS 12.1. We do get features like low brightness, flicker free, eye comfort, though I think this feature isn't working right now, but in future builds, this should work fine. We do get the high performance mode in the battery section, which can be triggered and be used while performing multitasking or playing heavy games. Also on ColorOS, we do get this feature of RAM expansion. So this is my 8GB RAM variant device and I can expand RAM up to more 5GB which will be approximate 13 GB after expansion. And now let's talk about the personalization section. So here on ColorOS, we do get lot many options to customize the device. Also on OnePlus 7 series, now we get always on display support. So you can use this feature, ambient display have been removed. Instead of that, we have this power saving mode under always on display. Later you have the theme store. But for this, if you're using ColorOS, you need to create an account of Oppo. And you can do that by going to Oppo forum. We get more options for the fingerprint animation and which can be set from here and also guys fingerprint unlock works as expected so as you can see here i've already set fingerprint and there are no issues unlocking the device using fingerprint later we have this edge lightning effect on color os 12 we do have an option wherein you can apply this edge lightning for incoming calls also Here's another exclusive feature which we find only on ColorOS and that's video ringtone. So you can apply any video for incoming calls from the theme store and that video will be played when you have any incoming call. Later you get the option to customize the quick setting tiles and also icons. On ColorOS 12 we also have some special features like flexi window, a quite a useful feature for multitasking. So if you are in the recent panel, you can just tap on these three dots for the app which supports and now from here you can trigger this floating windows. Later you want, you can increase or decrease the size of the floating windows. You also have other stuff like kids space where you can add a dedicated space for kids and allow access to limited applications. And now at last, let's talk about the installation process. So guys, just download the complete zip file if you wish to install ColorOS 12.1 on your OnePlus 7 series and place it inside the internal storage of your device. And once you do that, if you're running Oxygen OS 11, you just need to perform a local upgrade by going to system update section though on oxygen os 12 and color os 12 we don't get the option of local update but you can do that on oxygen os 11 and right now i won't recommend you guys to update your device to close beta updates because if anything goes wrong you will have only one option and that's to visit service center if you're not aware about restoring your device still if you guys want me to do a complete review let me know in the comment section below so as of now only this much in this video i hope you guys like the video if you like the video then do give me a thumbs up and also if you are new to our channel then do not forget to subscribe the channel. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.